Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb is declaring some of his priorities for the 2021 legislative session. As in years past, he unveiled a five-pillared plan, including the economy, infrastructure, education, and workforce development, as well as public health and good government. Many of these are continuing efforts. Our Kayla Sullivan is live at the State House this afternoon. Kayla, why aren't we seeing more new priorities from the governor this year? Well, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb says this list includes what matters most to him and his administration, and he says this is what's going to get Indiana through this pandemic. But a lot of it depends on what the federal government is willing to give the state. If Indiana doesn't see federal help soon, then some of these things may not happen. It's just that I'm just it's that blunt and or we may have to wait longer as our economy continues to grow and and pull us out of this. The state's economy is a major focus of Governor Eric Holcomb's 2021 agenda. He is first requesting lawmakers pass a balanced budget for the ninth straight year, even with the financial bind due to COVID-19. We went to every state agency and said we need you to dial it back 15%. We asked our higher education uh, institutions to dial it back 7%. Uh, we paused programs that we're passionate about. Holcomb wants to expand the manufacturing readiness grants so companies can modernize operations, and he still aims to triple defense investments by 2025. This is what we need to do to continue to stay on the road that we're on to grow. He is not looking to raise taxes, but is open to the tobacco tax increase discussion with lawmakers this session. These are our priorities. And if we're able, this is what we will deliver. Well, K through 12 education funding is the only area Governor Eric Holcomb has promised 100% funding. He also is working to increase funding for K through 12 education in the next biennial budget. Back to you guys. So Kayla, this year the pandemic really highlighted some of Indiana's public health issues. Anything specific the governor is looking to do on that front? Yes, he's actually looking to provide those pregnancy workplace accommodations again. As you may remember, last year he tried this and Republican lawmakers turned it down and sent it to a study committee that never actually happened. I asked him how he plans to make this happen in 2021. He says he's going to work much harder to convince those lawmakers that this is going to be good for business because it's going to allow them to keep women in the workplace and not have to pay so much money to retrain people. He's also working to provide more opportunity and equity for minority populations, which, as you know, was disproportionately impacted by this pandemic. All right, Kayla, thanks so much. Of course, uh, we'll have much more reaction from both sides of the aisle to the governor's agenda coming up this Sunday on In Focus. It airs at 9.30 a.m. Sunday right here on Fox 59.